Craig, I think you've over and over said this has been a pretty seamless transition. Did you at any point stop and wonder what the reaction from the players was going to be like in terms of hearing your voice as an assistant compared to you know, you being the voice in practice and locker room and games and stuff? Not really. No, it just kind of – everything has flowed pretty naturally. It's just uh, I knew my responsibility level changed where I had to be the, the final answer and the final say. Um, and I really stepped into that. For me, it, it's been very easy. I, I don't know how it's been. I think it's been easy for the guys, and I have to ask them specifically. But for me, it was a matter of just, okay, how do you want to play in practice? And then having that commanding voice in practice. And I think that's – fortunately, with the experience I've had, I've been put in that role, maybe not as a whole, but in specifically with drill work and group work and having the scout team on different times, you're in that um, leadership role more than more than not so for me it was just a matter of um, overseeing the whole thing and becoming more of a ceo versus a foot soldier so to speak and that's been for me it's been natural very easy um i enjoy it having fun with it um i guess there's nothing i i, I said it, i didn't know what to expect i mean i guess from that standpoint it was just go with it and do what you know and know what you do greg this is a follow-up to an earlier question when you were when you were the assistant on most staffs, the assistant is is a little tighter with the players, uh, maybe a confidant, maybe a go-to guy. Was that you? Uh, and have the players maybe stepped back a little bit from from that relationship with you? Do you think? It, it was me at times to answer the first part, Andy. Um, it, ben, depending on the personnel or the the person, and sometimes it's been the person. It's been one that I specifically recruited myself. Other times it hasn't been, um, but I think anytime you're you're in that role and you have to make that transition, I think you can still have relationships with people and, and players, and I think that's important in this day and age. It, it's different than it was 10, 15, 20, 25 years ago. Um, you have to have relationships with players, and, and I've tried to use, you know, the the phrase I keep telling myself is old school principles, new school approach in terms of how I have to deal with players and relate to players and communicate with them. And not that I am soft on them or um, are buddy-buddy with them. I, I'm very open and honest with them, and I communicate that with them. And I think you'd – I just look at how I have to deal with my own kids at school or at, at home, and hence my wife with her principal job or um, that she has had over the years. You have to have a relationship with kids before you can really get them to commit to you and trust you. And I think when you show the individual you're working with, whether it's your own kids at home or the players on our team, that you, you're in it for them and you care about them as individuals, um, they will run through a wall for you. And I think that's the approach I've tried to take is uh, I'm very open and honest and, and I won't, I don't, they don't always like what I say to them, but they know there'll never be a gray area with coach. He'll, he'll speak the truth to you right away. And, um, but also tell them when I really appreciate what they're doing and try to guide them in that way. So that's it for me. It's really been easy in terms of the transition of going from an assistant to head coach because I've always, I've always shot everybody really straight and really honest and try to be, you know, as genuine as possible, but yet at the same time demanding and have high expectations and keep pushing forward. Greg, you touched on this earlier. Do you consider yourself old school? Um, maybe in principle. I don't think in approach, and I've tried to, like I mentioned before with your previous question about um, the, the things that I believe in, the foundations of my philosophies, I, I don't know if you would consider them old school, but they've been time tested in, in programs, and those are things that are very simplistic, yet when you do them and are consistent at, at them over a long period of time, uh, some, some people maybe label that as old school, even though... Um, you know, I think they, they work at any time, and they, they've proven that over the course of time. But um, a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm, discipline is a, is a big thing for me, um, and that discipline doesn't mean punishment. It just means forming good habits and um, trying to think, keep things simple, taking care of the basketball, one of them. Um, don't beat yourself. You know, I think that's across the board. You can apply that to a lot of sports and, and success that's been able to be sustained regardless of time or regardless of sport.